Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man, Primetime, and you already know you on Primetime Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video. And you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. For Primetime. To this day. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's go ahead and jump on into this video, shall we? Man, oh man, uh, look, I just got to report the news as I get it, especially if it's boxing news. So, I'm doing a video about Ryan Garcia. He was on his Twitter spaces live, you know, they do the audio thing on Twitter nowadays, for the ones that don't know, and uh, a lot of people anybody that's on twitter that see it can join in and listen in you can even ask to speak so um ryan garcia this indian sounding guy and uh, i guess another white guy maybe um well all three of them are up there ryan garcia and they're all saying the n-word 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 you know like f ends and f n-word f n-word and a lot of crazy stuff so i'ma just play the clip and let y'all hear it and uh then we'll come back and i will break it down i guess oh man oh boy and you know what's crazy thing is i was a fan of ryan garcia until this moment right here. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Roll the clip, y'all. Shit, while he well, gone, you well, know. Hey, yo, Rod, hey, fuck your mother, fuck, fuck your niggas, bitch mother. ass nigga. Fuck you, nigga. I fuck you. I'll fuck you up, bitch ass. Fuck you, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. You can't even say it right. Hey, nigga, nigga, nigga. You sound confident. Hey, nigga. Hey, nigga. Hey, nigga, loading it. I heard you. Hey, where, where, my, where my echo at, though? You know what you're supposed to say. You ain't say it. Where you at? Fuck you, nigga. What? Yo, Ryan. Good morning, my nigga. Good morning, my nigga. Oh, hell no, nah, cuz. Skin Good tech. Good morning, my nigga. <laughs> no, tech. I said my nigga. Pull out that Peter Griffin skin tech, Greg. Shut the fuck up, bro. Yo, bro. yo Ryan, I had a question for you. What, nigga? I just want to make sure you're, you're doing okay. Bro, what? Bro, I've been raped by my uncle. Bro, like, I hate you, bro. I, I hate all niggers. Allegedly. Another gas lighter. Is anybody okay, bro? <laughs> Is anybody okay, though? Like. <laughs> Who's okay? Thanks for the sleep again. Thanks for the sleep again. Oh, God. Niggers, 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 niggers. If you scared of your problems, DM me. I'll tell you what number to think of. Yeah, he's yeah. not about it. He's only about it on live when everyone's watching. You know Ryan ain't about it. Come on, Why bro. Yo, he's a professional. You know Ryan ain't about it. About? You Why know you Ryan ain't about it. Shut up. Shut you up. know Ryan ain't about it. You have zero fights. Shut up. You probably I'll fight you in person, though. I'll fight you in person, though. Hey, hey, bro. You probably I'll fuck your mom. You probably fuck your mom. Hey, Ryan, ain't you from Victorville, LA? Like, Nigga, I'm Ryan. Hey, bro. I'm, I'm, hey, 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 bro. Guess what? Guess what? I ain't from Virginia. I'm from the hill. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, nah, you from out here. I'm from LA, bro. Hey, all that nigga stuff, bro. You gotta watch your mouth, bro. What you, you gonna do? Watch your mouth. We, we, we out here in LA, bro. And, and you know how it is between blacks and Mexicans. Yeah, you all Calm down, out. my nigga. Nah, forget all that. You out of pocket. All right, so uh, I guess now y'all know what I know, and I just want to know how y'all feel, because, um, you know, you heard the guy talking about L.A., and, you know, we don't play that, you know, and see, you know, all this stuff that he doing, man, is too much, because, you know, when you let your guard down and be in the wrong place at the wrong time, 
the rest of the world don't forget. And all that you say, that you speak from your tongue, you will have to answer to it one day. That's what people don't understand. Matter of fact, let me let me let me um break break a little something down for y'all for the ones that you know that don't know. This is uh, from Proverbs 18:21. You know, I ain't no preacher or nothing like that, but you know, this always stuck with me. The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Let me read that one more time for the ones that didn't catch it the first time. The tongue has the power of life and death and those who love it will eat its fruit and for the ones the casual fans my primetime family anybody that don't understand what that mean what that parable mean let me break it down for you it says the tongue has the power of life and death what it means by that first bar right there it means you can speak Goodness on yourself and good things going to happen. Oh, man, I'm going to get this job. Oh, man, I'm going to get this car. Oh, man, I'm going to get the hat. Oh, man, I'm going to get them shoes. And you get it. See, that's faith. You spoke that into existence. See, that's the power of the life. But let me talk about the tongue and how the power of death works. If you keep speaking, oh, man, I'm going to have a bad day. You're going to have a bad day. If you keep speaking, man, I'm going to be sick. You're going to get sick. Eventually, oh man, I ain't never gonna have no money. You ain't never gonna have no money, man. I ain't never gonna get no woman. You ain't never gonna get no, I ain't never gonna get that husband. You ain't never gonna see what I'm saying. And those who love it will eat its fruit. What it means by that last bar is, is that whatever you speak the most will happen. And what is my boy Ryan Garcia doing? Man, he's speaking so much negative and so much evil and so much wrong. And then on the other side, trying to speak some positive. I love Christ. I love Jesus. I love... Man. But look at what outweighs what you saying. Huh? Which side is you speaking the most? So that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there. What is he speaking the most? Is he speaking life or is he speaking death? Because if you keep speaking against people and talking about races of people now, okay. Okay. We see how that work out. All we got to do is just wait and watch the show. Because you keep speaking the wrong things and the wrong things will find. Huh? Ain't nothing but that tongue gonna bind you. Huh? Keep speaking that mess you want to and see what's gonna profess. Huh? But see, you young and you don't understand. But see, I'm gonna tell you like my grandfather told me, Herbert Dix. That man said, you make your bed hard. Eventually, you go ahead and lay in it. Yeah. And some might have to stay in it. That's something I had. But yeah. And what he meant by that, I see, I was young when he told me, I was yeah, man, get out of here with that, man. I don't even know what he talking about. I'm going to make it be hard. You're going to have to lay in it. Like, shoot, my mattress is soft. <laughs> I was thinking, you know, God, was what, 11, 12? You know what I'm saying? Barely a teenager listening to him threatening us and whooping our tail and, you know. So he was an enemy to us, you know. We were warfare on him as kids, but, you know, that's another story another time. But that laying in the bed thing is, is that Ryan Garcia is making his bed hard right now. Instead of making it easier, making it softer, speaking better, speaking nicer, you know, going out there with charity, helping children, doing positive things. 
to outweigh the negative things that has already transpired. He already got banned a year. Why not make this year the best year? Why not rejuvenate your name and your brand? Get more focus, refocus yourself in a positive way, a positive journey, and use all the million subscribers you got or followers you got on Twitter, you know, and use them for a goodness thing. I mean, you could. I mean, but you know, I, I, I know I'm just talking to the straight up wall. <laughs> That joke ain't gonna listen to me. <laughs> Woo, I was fooling myself, one of y'all. <laughs> but anyway, you know, I hope y'all got what y'all supposed to got out of the video. You know what I mean? I just be kicking the truth so tired to the youth. But hey, look, it's gonna roll off the head of a lot. But at least I got one of y'all to understand what I was speaking. Hey, I done my just doing this video. So, anyways, with that being said, you already know what the routine is. When you leave my house, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, smash that bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV and I'm on social media everywhere. Definitely go to the website, primetimetalktv.com and copy some merch. All right, y'all, peace, love. I'm out till next time.